Good morning, Guam. What's going on? I'm Julius Santos. Welcome to another edition of Fit AF. We do it every Friday morning. This morning, we're with somebody very special. Uh, she's no stranger to KUAM. However, this is the first time she's being, uh, or working with me, I should say. She's coming off a four-win fight streak, and uh, it was an excellent performance. Her last fight, I got a chance to watch it uh, before today. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Miyu Yamamoto. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I want to thank you for taking the time to come out this morning and uh, I guess uh, do the interview first. It would be interesting to talk about your career so far, especially the last four wins. Uh, and then if you could run us through uh, kind of like uh, your warm-ups, how you get ready right? uh, on, a, on a daily basis, not, okay. not necessarily to get ready for a fight because that's like a long, uh, borne-out process, right? Uh, let's get into that. So you're in a four-win fight streak. Has anything changed with your, your uh, preparing for the next fight? First of all, when is your next fight? Uh, October 12th. Oh, so. it's just around the corner. Yes. One more month. Yeah. Is this an opponent you faced before? No, um, actually she's, uh, she's going to be the toughest one. Yeah. Why, why do you say that? She's a um, champion of World FC. She's from like a Korean, like a best fight organization. So, so yeah. she's a title holder in, in this uh, current organization you're fighting in, Ryzen? Uh, we, we're not going to have like, a good title match, but he, okay. she's a champ. And it's just, in her own way. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> now you have a wrestling background. Mm -hmm. uh, how far did you get in that career? Uh, I won the worlds a couple of times. Yeah. Pretty far. <laughs> yeah, pretty far. <laughs> this guy just put his foot in his mouth. Um, how has that played into your MMA career? Uh, everything new. I feel like I'm um, I'm a rookie. I'm still a rookie, and then. I've it's fun, you know. I get to learn a lot of stuff. Not all over again, but all over, you know, a lot of jujitsu, kickboxing, boxing, and it's new stuff. It's fun. Yeah, I'm happy. Learning how to integrate it into your your fighting style. Do you find yourself feeling dominant on the ground, or is was it awkward, or was it strange to go up against a jujitsu jiu practitioner? It was really hard for me because everyone thinks I'm a wrestler, so I'm really good at the ground. But I wasn't. I was, I was terrible, really bad. But since I start um, training Guam, I got better, and then I start seeing more, a lot of stuff. So. Now, did you find it um, in these last four fights you're going through? What goes on in your mind as you're trying to focus, and what's going on here, like your key? Because I was a losing um, fight before a training one, so I was like, I don't want to lose anymore. <laughs> I get the, um, I'm having the best like, training camp in my life, so I'm going to win this every time. The same thing, yeah. <laughs> what about when that takes you long into the fight, like your last fight, you went all the way to the end and it was unanimous decision. I mean, well, always. My last four fights is always like a full, full round. But I'm happy because I lost. Um, the, I have been lost like the first round or second round, so I'm so happy, you know. I get fight like, all through, you know, all the round. So. All right. Man, but I, I want to finish though. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, yeah, no, I mean I want to oh, finish okay. the fight, you know. Right, and that's kind of what gets you yeah. going through it it's because. Time to, yeah. It didn't come that. easy. No. And you had to like. Not a lot. I mean, I was watching it last night. It's like man, you guys were battling for that. You know? Yeah. Like, it was uh, I, the look, the, you know, the look on your face as soon as the second judge called it in your favor, you already knew. Yeah. And then the look on your opponent's face, and she could already tell. And that's very interesting how a fighter just kind of knows yeah. when they're dominating. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, I don't want to. Right, you don't want to take that for granted. Kill or you know, submit, whatever. Yeah. I want so, to finish the next one. Yeah, you want to finish it submission, or do you want to get a knockout? What do you want yeah. to do? Uh, knockout. <laughs> <laughs> or ref. Had to, I'm gonna have to Roughly stop me. Stop yeah. It, right? you're just like, oh, <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> wow, she's such a lady. Uh, thank you. <laughs> where does all that energy, where does all that spirit come from? I mean, was it always there growing up? I don't know. I guess I got it from um, my dad and my brother. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Now, was wrestling the first form of uh, we'll call it hand-to-hand -hand combat that you got into, or did you have any experience of anything else before that? No. That was it. That was it. Just right into the dens right there. Speaking of which, we're in the, the lion's den right now. Mm -hmm. We're at Custom Fitness CrossFit Golf Met Good. Um, is this normally where you do your training? Yes. All right, so uh, why don't we get into a little bit of what you do? Okay, let's do some warm-ups, shadow boxing, 
and do some drills. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we'll get Scotty in here too, because you're gonna he's gonna help us out. He's my training partner and my manager. Yeah, he does everything for me. Training <laughs> partner. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you usually train against manager. guys? Manager. And manager. Yeah. Or the design as a whole. Look at my um. <laughs> my, uh, I have to make yes, that's what she wore. That's what you wore in your last fight, right? Yeah. 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 Make her look good. Feel good. So she fights great, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Say that one more time. Feel good, look good, fight great. You know that's why I always believe too. So we have to look good. Yeah. Right. And it, it's really it's not a it's not a superficial thing or it's not a pretentious thing because I know what it's like in, in whatever it is right whether you're playing a sport in whatever sport it is you want to have a nice uniform or you want to have like the nice fight shorts or if you're wearing you know the the compression whatever it is and like you said look good feel good fight great. I like that. So what are we going to do, the first warm-ups? So um, we're just going to go right into shadow boxing and shadow wrestling. So uh, we'll just do short three minutes. Um, you guys could do two, two. Um, and then from there, just, you know, we'll play it off. How about you show me first what I'm going to be doing? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to this. This We work out. Not really. Here, let me, uh, ready. So she'll do her entry. She'll do her, like, one, two, or move around and her, her uh, into, into a shot. So, so I'll just be a good partner and stand here and then we do it one more time. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Don't beat me up. So she's fighting someone that's a south pole, so I'm oh. used to going this way. Okay. So now I have to make sure I'm a south pole. Yeah, like, perfect. But no, they have the actual okay. softball stance. I stand. Oh, okay. Right foot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so then my own would be um, I'll do a jab, shot, and then the next one I could go to arm drive. So it's a lot of different variables to an entry. So Those don't usually come natural to me because you, you're a wrestler too, yes? <laughs> uh, not as great as her, but I wrestle, you know, I dibble dabble. Dibble dabble. Dibble dabble. That's a very modest way of saying he's He's good. He's good. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do my best. I can hold the mic. Yes, please. So, so you're going to do an entry to her? So, yeah. That's one. And then she's going to do one more. And then you, you as a partner, you just want to brace yourself and try not to fall so you guys don't get hurt. And oh, I'm trying not to fall. Yeah, that too, that too. I'm not trying to. And then your turn. That's scary. Two. Two. And two. There you go. And she's going to do it again. So I'll put you guys on a timer for at least two minutes. Good? So we're just gonna kinda go at it. Yeah. And then you also do different different techniques. So you go you go outside single, double, and then she, she sometimes hits a throw. Um, so there's a lot of different variables. She'll right. and then you could play off what she does, you kinda mimic it and you know do do what you know too. There you go. Now just let it, and then oh. just, yeah. So. <laughs> I think he really wants to get get down already, so. <laughs> so just, you just kind of just stay there. You kind of just stay there, and then if she, yeah, if she's moving, you move too, but yeah, just let her kind of finish. The Right back into it. And two. And then you go right back into it. So it's a non-stop drill. It's a good warm-up to get the heart going and there you go. That's two. And you notice how she's working in the kicks now, so now she's getting getting loose up in there. So 
So you got one minute left. So you just gotta keep calm, you know, take your deep breaths, you know. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Just wanna stay loose throughout. Nice, there you go. So the goal for here is time, that's time. The, the goal here is just to kind of get the heart moving, um, you know, getting used to the fight, getting used to getting ready for the fight, but in our warm ups, and then we go down to a stretching, and then do, do our drilling, down to sparring, whatever the day is. Today is, um, I believe, sparring, so uh, we'll do some nice sparring and uh, some technique drills today. And I pass the mic to this How do you do? Did okay, did okay. Yeah. Well, ask her. Ask her. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Whew. Okay. Yeah. How, how did I do? You did really good. Yeah. <laughs> She's too kind. She's too kind. But uh, it was weird because your your energy kind of translated over to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> it was a. It was a. It's an intimidating kind of thing when you're when you're there and you're face to face, especially coming off somebody with a four fight win streak. You're feeling that confidence. Do you take it for? I mean. How seriously are you taking this next fight? How much does it mean to you? Knowing earlier you said it's going to be your most difficult fight. Because uh, she's really good and she's a champ. And then this fight's going to be um, really important for me because if I win this fight, I get to title shot end of this year, December 31st. So I have to win and I'm going to win. I don't think we can say any more than that. <laughs> You're in Ryzen. You are a Ryzen star in the fight scene. This has been Fit AF. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go on one more round. Or is that what you? Okay. Yeah. So we could change it up too. So, um, you know, we could do either wrestling. What What did you want? Did you want to do straight wrestling, or did you want to just do a little shadow? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys could do combos. Yeah. Okay. So she could hit a combo, kind of hold your hands up, and then she's gonna do like a one, two, three, and then you do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go fast but smooth. Just to look good, make yourself look good, you know? Get loose, move around, act like you're in an actual fight. There you go. Let's just not hurt her before the fight, though. <laughs> and don't hurt him. Moving good, um, just kind of loosening up. There you go, nice. Julius does have a background of boxing too, so um, I'm not surprised with the hands. How much of this is muscle memory right now and how much of it is still like, you know, going for form? Um, muscle memory, you know, it comes, man, that's years of practice and that's pretty much everything we do. It's just instinct at this and point. Instinct and yeah, basically getting ready for, you know, reacting to the fight. The, who she's fighting is a kickboxer, so um, more defending kicks and reacting off the kick. So playing, uh, this girl's a southpaw, so we're playing off the, the lead foot.
We're having a lot of fun here. Um, it's a, it's really neat, like the, the continuity that happens. She moves, I move, and then it gets creative. Do you consider it an art form? Do you consider MMA an, an, an art form? Yeah. I wouldn't say a martial art, but all together, yeah, it's an art. I think so, yeah. yeah. I'm an artist. <laughs> no, absolutely. You got to be creative. Um, you know, you need to be strategic. Yeah, you're a lot of brain. Yeah. You have to have the engine, the motor that will drive you through it. And you got to have strong enough torque, you know, to at least, if not overpower your opponent, to at least be able to go with them yeah. throughout the entire time. Mm -hmm. What, um, so you want to, you're going to finish this fight. That's what you're saying. That's my goal. And um, as far as you believing that you're going to finish it and you see yourself finishing it, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself finishing it? I think I'm going um, to take her down, go on ground and and then the referee's going to stop me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, I think that's what I want, yeah. It's a very interesting way that she wants to let her. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to finish her next fight. Uh, I think this episode is finished. Thank you so much, thank Miyu you so much. Yamamoto. Um, she's training here on Guam. And again, thank you for making some time for me. Scotty, thank you so much for your guidance this morning. All of you, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Julia Santos, Fidef, Adios. <laughs>